So I was wondering, I hear that you guys get like all the chicks after your shows. So I was wondering if I can be a part of LMFAO. Well, Is that possible? There's, there's yeah. rules, bro. There's rules. Tell, tell them the rules. Bro. Well, just to get back into the VIP, you got to bring two nachos. You know, where the na- you know what nachos are, right? Two nacho chips or, or two plates of nachos? No, no, no. Two nacho chicks. Chicks that are nachos. You know what I'm saying? It's like a potluck. Yeah. So that just that's your entry fee just to get if you're a dude, you gotta just bring two, you know, uh available uh two nachos. And then once you're there, then you can now mingle and meet up. Uh as far as being in the band itself, it's tough. Um, it's just a duo. Right. So um I don't know scientifically if that's even possible to have three people in a duo. It's, it's, it's like having bigger packages than we do. You know what I mean? It's, it's scientifically unpo- it's, it's, impossible. It's impossible. It's like, oh, it's, yeah. I mean, it's it, it's like, yeah. But I, you could probably get inducted to the Party Rock crew, but that takes, you know, a long, it's like the frats. Well, it's like a frat. See how, how well you hold your liquor. Right. You know, one girl came out and she was had like two drinks, and passed out. The whole she's, she's not in the crew. You can't be in the party. Get out of here. Get yeah, out of here with that yeah. lightweight. Yeah, you gotta get your weight up. Right. Um, and so uh, you know, we'll see tonight if you party hard. I mean, and you you know take your shot. I mean, and then we got to see your 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 lady skills. Right. You know, are you knocking them down? Are you taking them back to the to the TBR? Right. Or are you hogging the TBR? TBR is a take back room. Which could be like an available bathroom or a, a, a broom room, um, or you know even uh, underneath a semi truck. Uh, anything, it, anything could happen there. And do you hog it up? You know, like maybe we'll go back to the hotel. You know, we're at Fantasyland. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll have some fantasies. But it's like, uh, you know, are you, you know, smoking in the room, setting off the alarms? I mean, we don't know. You know, you uh, look like a pretty. Sorry about that the other day. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. But you know, I'm in the band, so He's I get a, band, I get so a he pass. Gets, you know, he gets a pass. So we gotta see how you party, man. So what, what you're saying is, I'm in. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Okay. You're All right, you're in. Wicked. Uh, so you guys together. If, if I'm gonna be in the band, I need to know the history. So how did you guys hook up and how did the band start? Um. Well, we always we hooked up, um, biologically. That makes sense. Um, and um, you know he's my nephew. Yes, I'm, I'm his uncle. Of course, you, you would already know that if you saw us naked. You'd say, oh, he's obviously the elder. Elder. Yeah. Um, but uh, we went to Miami for the Winter Music Conference, and um, we had a blast for one week. Yeah, I mean, well, I had a blast from that day. We set, we we set foot, set foot. It's a, a set, set foot. It's a S-E-T. Set, okay. set, set foot, foot in right. Miami. Because if you and sat foot, that would be weird. You know, yeah, like you'd yeah, be yeah. sitting on your feet. Um, right, off the right off the plane. It's weird, huh? Maybe if you're in a wagon. Maybe, uh, maybe. Small wagon. Small wagon. You'd be no sat. You'd be satting foot, but right. probably not. Right. Well, we uh, set foot in Miami. Yeah. And ever since that moment, we've been on vacation. We've been on a mental uh, paradise trip. You know what I'm saying? Similar to an acid trip, but it involves Goose Red Bull, Patron, and booties. And, booties. and what happened was is that we spent a week uh, in Miami, had the best time of our lives. Um, at that point, it was the best time of our lives. Because I mean, now we're having the best time of our lives now. Right. But at that point, we had never had a better time in our lives. And we went back, and most people after a vacation, they're like, wow, this is a great vacation. They go back and they, oh, I gotta go back to work. And then they, you know, but what they do is they never really go back to work 100%. They upload their pics to their social network of choice. Uh, they talk about it during the lunch break. And, oh, man, it was great. You know, I got with this prostitute. But whatever, whatever it was, um, we didn't want to do that. You know, we said, you know what? We're going to quit work. 
Well, really, we, well, we really didn't have any jobs. Yeah. We just said we're not going to go look for jobs. We're not going to have that thought because we, we had that thought maybe we might have to get a job. Right. But we're not right now, you know what I mean? But then it was like, no, forget it, man. Forget the whole thing. Forget the whole thing. We're going to make parting our living. And that's how it started. That's how the concept. Then we put our heads together. B-Y-O-B. You know what I'm saying? Be your own boss, bitch. Yeah, B-Y-B. B-B. B-Y-O-B-B. I didn't even... Well, what if it was B-Y-O-B-Y-B? Bring Be your own boss, yeah, bitch. Let's separate the Bs so we don't get a lawsuit from... Uh, you know, the BB gun companies. What about Biatch? Well, that would be a lot that more... Would be a lot more 90s uh, New mm, York. New York. You have to talk to Buster Rhymes for that. Yeah. Just here, put on a great show. Yeah, well, yeah, bitch. Yeah, Biatch. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like the way it rolls. Yeah, this guy yeah. is good. You know what? If he's, he's in the band, so we could probably use it. Yeah, Biatch. Yeah, Biatch. Yeah, Biatch. Yeah, Biatch. Yeah, Biatch. Yeah, Biatch. Well, there's, you know, there's variations to it. You know what? I like that. You know, Ed Lover has, come on, son. You know, we can, we can, has, uh, we can say something. Ya bitch. Ya bitch. Ya bitch. Ya bitch. Ya bitch. Ya bitch. You know. It sounds slick. Yeah, it's slick. Ya bitch. Come on, you bitch. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, you bitch. No, I mean, but we'll, we'll chase we'll the come on. We'll have yeah, a, yeah. we'll have something, ya bitch. Yeah. He has something, son. Right. We'll have something, ya bitch. And, uh, you know. But uh, yeah, so, ya biatch. Is that where the song I'm in Miami Trick came from when you guys were in Miami together? Uh, well, the original was Bitch. Trick is the, uh, but, oh, but we probably, yeah, okay, I got it, we're on the, <laughs> on the radio. Um, a lot of bleeps. A lot of bleeps. Um, <laughs> ya bee, ya bee. Um, it definitely came from Miami, but it, we wrote the song before we even went there for the first time. Imagine that and uh it was because the reason why i don't know if you have a favorite place that like for instance have you ever okay is there somewhere right now where you want to go like where if you could go anywhere in the world where would you go right now i'll go to new york and you've never been there i've been there once okay you've been there once okay pick a place that you haven't been uh la la right so you have a kind of an idea what it's about right yeah. and, you know so if you wrote a song about la and that just just a picture yourself in LA walking around and writing about that of what you know about LA you know you might say a lot of people think LA is like really dangerous so you might think oh you know I grab a Starbucks and I see Perez Hilton and then uh, you know I don't know what you would say you know uh, but that's what we did with Miami we had never been there before and we heard tales and rumors some true some untrue right uh, a lot of the DJs would say, oh, the, the music conference is great, man. You know, they got booties popping out. That happened to be true. Indeed. Uh, the DJs, you know, they would say, you know, there's there's everybody from Tiesto comes out to to, uh, to the Justice to come out and Uffy and all these people. And they'll all play in the pools. Happens to be true. It was. Th they would say things like, yeah, man. And then, like, like we never go to sleep, man. We drink all day and we play all night, man. And, and, and I'm up in the morning drinking Red Bull and vodka. That ha ha actually was false. When we went out there, most of those DJs were asleep until one o'clock with hangovers. Not us, because we thought that was true. So we drink all day, play all night, stayed Red up. Bull, boom, coffee, whatever we got, stayed up, didn't even go to sleep. We was up, a and week. It, was a week. it was a week. So, uh, but we wrote that song before, based on all these tales, you know, literally, the tales. Boom. I mean, the Spanish Latin women in Miami Spanish language. Good. Yeah, very good. Very good. So, um, and then we came back from Miami, and then that's when we started the group LMFAO. You know, because the, one more tidbit: Miami trick or bitch uh, or bleep, Miami bleep was an experiment. We made the song before; it was the first of its kind of this electro hip hop thing. You know, with a kind of a like. A, a, an appealing vibe to everybody and that was our blueprint that song so we just made a whole album centered around that the, being the the, the foundation the foundation if you of the party rock movement yeah